Living His Stores, August 28th. Please welcome Kalen Porter. are very excited you're here. It's exciting to be here. All the girls just screaming outside. Is it weird for you? Yeah, yeah. You never get used to it. It's pretty strange. Now, but... when you walk down the street, does that happen as well? Do you have people chasing after you, girls chasing after you, um... trying to touch you, <laughs> grab you, get your autograph? Uh, a little bit, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if I wear a hat or something, I'm usually cool. You're okay? So, yeah. Incognito? <laughs> yeah, Little totally. toque or something like that? It's all the hair. Just... <laughs> See? But well, at least you can cover it up, though, and then yeah, you can yeah, be left yeah. alone. Okay, so let's talk about the new album. All your fans are awaiting it. It's very exciting coming yeah. out at the, end of, at the end of August, August 28th. And uh, you co-wrote almost most of the album, like more than half of it. So what yeah. was that experience like for you, obviously? This is your second album. Yeah, it was It was really great that I got the opportunity to, you know, I wrote this album and played on it a lot, so that was really important to me. And I recorded down in L.A. Um, with Brian Maloof, who's worked with Michael Jackson, Madonna. The best of the so, best. Yeah, pretty exciting, and uh, it was pretty cool to work with someone of that caliber. Yeah, what was that like? It was awesome, and I, I was down uh, in L.A. for uh, winter, so it was like You perfect. lucky yeah. duck. You missed the winter here great. and got the nice weather. <laughs> yep. Is it crazy down there? Was that like your first time working down there? I loved L.A. Some people, Did you? you know, say they don't like it, but it, I, I loved it. You so. enjoyed it? Yeah. Nice now, you, obviously, talking about the writing process, you had a lot to draw from. You've gone through a lot in the past two years. Yeah, it's been kind of a crazy um, couple of years. Right after I got off tour, I went right into the studio to work on... Uh, work on writing. Now, and before you continue, though, let's talk about that tour, because you sold out, like, 65 shows across Canada. Yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. That's huge. Thanks, Sold so. out <laughs> tour across Canada. Okay, you can continue. I just had to add that in there. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty exciting. Um, but I wanted to start writing right away, you know, get the album out right away, and then I had some family stuff come up. My mom was diagnosed with cancer, and so I, I ended up going home and deciding to spend some time at home. And so this album took longer than it probably should have, but... It was an important decision, and you know, I think it was really great that I did that. What so. was that like to go through for, like, for you? Obviously, anybody that's dealt with that, a lot of people have been touched by that and have family yeah. members or friends. What was that like for you specifically? Um, it, was, it was really tough. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think it was, you know, I tried to kind of stay in Toronto and keep writing and working yep. and, and not you know, let it bug me. But then I just thought, you know what, I need to go home and spend time with, with family. And so, you know, it was great to go home. And, and the last few years have just been such a whirlwind to kind of come together as a family and just like, you know, re kind of, you know, every, yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was pretty cool. And realize what what's important, right? Yeah, exactly. And obviously, you drew from those experiences, and you wrote a song about it. Well, yeah, it. I think a lot a lot of the album is based on is based on that. So a lot of some of the songs come from like a week after I found out about my mom being diagnosed. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was pretty. Um, I had a lot to draw on, and uh, and I think maybe before everything was too happy or something, I needed some life experience. Mm -hmm. and so now, do you think because obviously artists, like you said, you draw from experiences? Was that like therapy for you then to write about? that because obviously when you go through something that traumatic and you yeah. know, it's your mother it must have been really heartbreaking yeah for you. in a way it it was um i hear a lot of people and artists and stuff say like they need to write to live and everything mm -hmm. and I, I it wasn't really like that for me it was it was really painful and tough and and frustrating but at was the same it? time really rewarding so i think i think you know having the album out now and especially now that i'm i'm proud of this album and, and stuff yep. like that that it's 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 really really rewarding the whole very good. Okay, we have an email question, and this cool. is from Gemma in Mississauga, Ontario. And she said, what's the best advice you can give someone whose loved one has cancer, and what helped you cope while your mom had breast cancer? So mm. two questions right there. What advice could you give, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of advice you know, you can give to something like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important just to, um, you know, spend time with your family. Um, I know for me, you know, it really re-kind of focused my priorities, whereas before I'd worried about all the little things. Now I'm kind of, you know, going back home and saying, you know, nothing is really that important as, you know, your family and your friends. Mm -hmm. So, and and just, you know, I think that was one of the most important things for me is just going home and, and, and you know, taking time off of, you know, a career and everything like that to just kind of focus on what was important. So. Now, are there any love songs on the album, Kalen? There, there might be might be one or two, yeah. One or two <laughs> for the girls. I know all girls like love songs. Are you a romantic guy? Um, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, kind of, yeah, kind maybe. of. I don't know. Now, I heard that you, you don't cook, though. 
I was reading your little blog, <laughs> and you don't know how to cook. No, I, I'm, I'm really bad. I, really I bad? Guess, like, so. do you burn things, or what happens? Oh, well, they just don't taste very good. I really? don't know, whatever I make. Um, <laughs> no, I find myself eating out. A lot? Quite a bit, yeah. Maybe you need a girl that can cook for you. Maybe. I bet there's one here that would maybe do a little home-cooked meal. <laughs> now, you brought your brand new video by. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Because I heard there's a lot of things going on in this video, and it was a lot of fun to shoot. A lot of weather changes? Yeah, it was uh, It was kind of putting me through the through the elements. So uh, uh -huh. it starts out, it's a nice, like, sunny, sunny day. Okay. And, and, then, and then the rain comes and snow and... And then eventually it's just like this big blizzard. So it was it was pretty crazy um, to see how it was all done because it was a nice day out. So you've got, they've got rain machines and snow makers and you know wind machines. And uh -huh. It was pretty crazy. All so. the different forces of nature. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you want to maybe go outside before you go before yeah. we get to your video? Because there's more girls waiting out there. We need totally. to give them some love, but the ladies outside as well. There you go, guys. Kaylin Porter. We're gonna get to his new video in just a second. But Kaylin, another thing I've noticed, not only do you have young fans, you have fans of all ages. Look at all these hot yeah, ladies out here. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's like the Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore. Kinda, it might be. I don't know. I've never seen it before. I'm quite impressed that you attract this wide range of ladies, like, you know. <laughs> it's impressive, Kaylin. Let's clap for that. Anyways, the album comes out on August 28th. Thank you very much for coming down to the show, yeah, Kaylin. It's been really nice having you. Get the album when it comes out right now. We're gonna check out his brand new video, Down in Heaven.